All right, finally back. Finally have some time where my mom isn't here and I can record. Like I said, I don't like recording when people are here. Uh, so I just have a couple cheap random pens that I want to review. I'm not doing single videos on them. I'm just going to do like a, a review of a bunch of them. Um, but I actually do have a lot more than just these four. I mean, not a lot, a lot, but, uh, a couple. So, we're gonna try and blow through all of these really fast. First, we're just gonna go over the names, brands, things like that. And then we're gonna write with them, give you my opinion and things. Uh, background stick. This is in my EDC video. M, medium. Just a cheap throwaway pen. Uh, Staples, so this isn't like a name brand pen, this is just a little brand. It's the, the office supply store. Staples Comfort Stick, but it has a, a big round stick ink cartridge in it because the one that was in here ran out. I realized the big round sticks one would fit in there and I wanted to use the pen, so I put it in there. Um, this is a Bic, what, like, I don't know, BU3 Grip? Is that really blurry, or is that just me? There we go. Uh, it's got the little button here to, um, to click, I don't know, to, to um, close the pen. Uh, then we have two Office Depot pens. They're the exact same. They're both, um, they're both black ink. They're just, one's plastic, or er, one's blue and one's black. So we're gonna get rid of the blue one and just do the black. This is a, what, Papermate, Papermate Profile. This is an old beat up pen. You can see tape on it. Uh, this is a 1.4 broad. This is actually the most broad pen I own. And then we have an uh, unknown paper mate, because it doesn't say on the pen what it is, and I don't care enough to search it up. One millimeter. Uh, another paper mate, a paper mate ink joy. Uh, one millimeter. It's orange. And then this pen I actually EDC'd. I really like this pen. This is just an Office Max one. It's a capped gel pen. I like it. It's um, it's the closest thing I currently have to one of those old school like ribbed plastic grip pens. That um, here let me search it up. I think it's unsharpened. Let me just check. Sorry about this, it's taking way long. Unsharpen, it's unsharpen. He made a video on old school ribbed uh, plastic grip pens. This is the closest thing I have to that and I really like it. I thought it ran dry and ran out of gel. It's a gel pen. Thought it ran out of ink, uh, but it didn't, so that was cool. Um, also, I made this notebook. If you guys wanna see a video on these notebooks, I'm probably gonna make it anyway, but comment if you want it on how I make them. You can probably tell by looking at it, but I could dedicate a video to it. It has my, um, my channel name on it. You can read that. It says, hey. Um, first time I'm using it. Hope you can see that. Just go through these randomly. Start with this one, I guess. This isn't really random, but I like this pen, so here we are. Hey, we got a good G. 
Whoopity do. How lucky. I I don't know why I'm so dead right now. Sorry about that. We'll just see how it goes. Hope it goes well. Uh, is the video still going? I just got a low battery warning. Yeah, okay. I'm not signing my name anymore because I don't want my signature to be here. I'm not taking down the videos either though, so there's that. Um writes really smoothly really smoothly. Kind of a generic red, but it looks fine. Uh I really just like this pen because I like the grip and I like the cap. The writing is pretty mediocre, but it's nice and smooth, so it's got that going for it. Next up, we'll just go with the Paper Mate Ink Joy. Not all of these are cheap throwaway pens, they're just all cheap pens. And as you can see, I'm back with my old setup with the lighting. I don't know how I'm going to get that other area, my desk, to have good lighting without shadows, so I'm just going to do this for now. Both of these are having trouble with their first letters. Again, just a smooth pen. It has a metal clip like the, um, like the Uniball Vision with a lot of space under there, so I like that. Um, all of these pens are just pens that I have and I realized I had. None of these are brand new. Actually, no. This pen is essentially brand new. I pulled it out of my box, but it's not like I went and bought the box. It's just unused. Now we have this random blue paper mate. You guys will probably be able to figure out what this is called, but I don't care. Here, this I haven't used this one, so. This one's struggling a lot. It is a ballpoint, not a gel pen, so. So with not frequent use use, it's not gonna not gonna do very well. Got that. Uh, just a, this feels like a, sl a little slightly older ball pen, ballpoint pen. Has some drag, not too smooth. Struggles on, uh, on the ink flow there a little bit. But if you need a pen, it's adequate. Now we have the big boy, the profile, the really, really broad one. A lot of these are paper, mate. I'm finding. Didn't realize that before. Uh, when you look at the lines, it doesn't look that broad, but when you look at the, um, the point, it does look pretty broad. And it feels broad when you write with it. It's really, really smooth. But it's, it's kind of like the Bic Gelosity, where it's so smooth that it's just not interesting. And I don't really like it. Office Depot ballpoint. It's doing better than the paper, mate. It's got that for, going for it. I just realized I wrote Ink Joy for the pen. I have no idea what it's called. Ballpoint. Black. This is another just a cheap throwaway pen. Ballpoint. It's got some drag. Runs better than the paper made at least. So there's that. Um, that's not much of an accomplishment, it's a pretty low bar. The last sort of nice er pen, the Bic, what, it, I, BU3 Grip, I guess. I don't like these, these. I used to, now I don't, I just don't see why it's necessary. This is the only, no, this is 
one of two big pens on this this list. Big BU3 grip, 1.0, blue. It's a bit darker of a blue than these other two. You can see there, a bit darker, but I like it. Nice, nice dark blue. Got that weird button. Um, this feels like a random pen you'd find in an office or on the ground at school, or like one of those pencil holders that a teacher has for kids who don't have pens or students. Um, it feels like a pen you would use not by choice, which isn't really a good thing. Now the comfort stick, which is really just a big round stick in disguise. It even has the same spelling of stick as the big round stick. I just realized I wrote millimeter for some of them, but not for others, and that's making me mad. And I forgot to do the squiggles there. Let me do that. Sorry, this is kind of jumbled. I just wanted to record a video. Uh, it's basically just a big round stick, but it feels nice to hold, and it looks cheaper to be honest. There's not much to say. It's a bit better than the uh, the Office Depot ballpoint, but but still not great. Like if I had to choose a ballpoint, I'd either go with that or this big round stick. These you can buy in bulk boxes. You can probably buy all these throwaway ones in bulk boxes, but these are like $12, $13 for 50. So and get a lot of these. Had a little bit of a ink flow problem there. This is still one of my favorite pens, despite being just a cheap throwaway pen. I like it. Um, and out of all of these pens, this is probably my favorite. Aside from this, these two are my favorite. Um, if you have to buy like a cheap throwaway, I don't recommend this paper mate. As you can see, it has some ink flow problems, especially after not being used constantly. Um, whereas this doesn't. This this runs fine, and even this one, this uh, this this same cartridge that's in the comfort stick, um, it's been used very little and it's still running fine way better than this paper mate so you can see some of the ink flow and the colors see the paper mate does terrible that ballpoint um i i kind of have a soft spot for um for cheap pens i don't have no idea why i just like them there's just something about cheap pens that I, that I really enjoy. Thanks for watching. I hope this was useful or entertaining in some way. And, um, as always, bye.